What's going on guys? It's me Jiggly and I'm back with another Minecraft mod block spotlight tutorial for you. Today that's on the reactor coolant port from Big Reactors. Let's get into this. Alright guys, so yeah, the reactor coolant port looks really cool. <laughs> but first off, we gotta craft it. So, as always, four casings. Uh, it's a piston, two iron ingots, and a bucket. We'll go ahead and zoom in here and show you. Right here we have four casings on the corners, two iron ingots, one iron bucket, and a piston down below. And that's going to give you that beautiful reactor coolant port. Now, this one does something completely different than uh, what we've got, uh, what we've done before. So first thing you'll notice that's different is our uh, reactor controller looks different. So you got your coolant fluid tank and your hot fluid tank. Okay. Uh, these are what they kind of this is what it looks like now you need I'm using the crescent hammer from thermal expansion uh, you need the hammer though because you have to be able to change it notice how it goes from like that nice gelid cryothelium blue to red um, that that's very important in our especially in our 3x3 reactor so this is a very small scale steam generator essentially but uh, on the back side we have the coolant port in a blue gelid cryothelium color and that's the input down here I have an aqueous accumulator with water of course pumping up um, pumping up water into our uh, reactor and that of course is what we have here and then on this side here I have the uh, reactor coolant port and it's red now it's now it's now it's blue now it's red so I want it to be red because I want it to extract the steam and what we're gonna do is we're gonna act we're gonna extract the steam into these uh, bedrockium drums okay that's what's going to hold our steam pores. Now you can use the steam for various other things. And in the big reactors, what you use it for is a uh, passively or an actively cooled reactor, which is those turbines, and they spin uh, the blades, generating even more power, which is really cool. Um, but in this sense, we're just going over a basic Minecraft block tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and activate it. You're going to see here the steam starting to starting to build, uh, but it, yet it can't. Uh, it can't keep up because it's all being exported uh, into our uh, drums. You can already see we have multiple millibuckets of steam already produced. Uh, this thing produces a lot of steam. And now our reactor, of course we don't have enough water. Uh, it takes a lot of water. And so now we're not continuously producing steam. So as you can see one aqueous accumulator is not enough. It takes a lot of water I just uh, am warning you now, <laughs> you're going to need a lot of water. Uh, as you can see, it's filling it, but it's not, it's not steady. It's not at its, it's not at its peak, um, peak potential. And as, the, as the heat drops, uh, we're going to slowly start accumulating our water back. <laughs> it's just burning so much uh, heat. And then of course it does still take yellow rheum to, to work. Uh, you just you need a lot of water. And so one aqueous accumulator is not enough. So let that also be a slight tutorial to you. But that is the reactor coolant port. It allows the input of water into your reactor and the export of steam, which steam can be used to generate multiple things depending on what mod blocks you have in there. But with the big reactors mod in general, it does the steam turbines or turbines which at some point we are going to get to we're slowly getting our way there guys so yeah I hope this has been helpful this is the uh, reactor coolant port and uh, it's 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 a wicked awesome mod guys big reactors for 1.7.10 I hope it's been helpful share it with your friends and family if you enjoyed it if you learned something new and all your fellow minecraft players and guys I'll see you in the next tutorial thank you so much for watching take care